What's going on everybody, Jonathan here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the QuickBooks self-employed app and how I use this app to take care of everything accounting related for my personal business. It makes it incredibly easy for me to do things that normally I would have to pay an accountant to do for me. So a little bit about my background. I actually studied accounting at the Foster School of Business at the University of Washington. And shortly after I graduated, I began doing some independent contractor work on the side, uh, driving for Lyft and Uber. And then I kind of grew that into some web development and marketing for local businesses here in Seattle. So having the QuickBooks self-employed app has saved me a ton of time, it made this very easy for me to kind of just keep track of all my accounting uh, by myself and then do taxes at year end. So in this video, I'm gonna do a very quick and to the point tutorial, show you guys how to link up bank accounts with the app, go through all of your transactions and create rules that really simplifies the accounting process for you. I'm also gonna show you guys how to track mileage, do invoices, uh, take pictures of receipts so that you can record those and use them for expenses later down the road. And also how you can use the app to do quarterly estimated taxes, which you do need to do as an independent contractor. So before we dive into this, if you haven't downloaded the app yet, you can go ahead and use my link, which I'll drop down below, and it's gonna save you up to 50% off that first year. All right, let's start off by looking at some transactions within the QuickBooks self-employed app. So transactions are gonna auto-populate in the app once you've linked your bank accounts. And you can easily just click on a transaction right here and then further categorize that transaction and how it applies to your business. So I wanna create a rule and that way, every time my transaction occurs, it's gonna go ahead and categorize for that specific rule. So in this example, I'm looking at a Grubhub payment and every time that payment comes in from Grubhub, it's, just, it's gonna be automatically categorized as income within my taxes. So in order to start seeing these transactions auto-populating in your QuickBooks self-employed app, you need to first link your bank accounts. And there's a very easy step-by-step -step process to do this. As you can see, I have quite a few bank accounts currently linked. And if I wanna add another one, I can just click down there at the bottom and then fill out the process. It's really easy. It kind of just walks you through. You can decide which bank you are using, enter a little bit of info, and then your uh, QuickBook app will kind of log in through the API of that bank account and start pulling transactions for you to easily categorize uh, as we went through earlier in the transactions part of the app. The mileage tracking is another feature that I really liked. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I've done a lot of rideshare and food delivery uh, in the past. And so whenever I'm driving in my car, this app is automatically tracking my mileage and I can see uh, exactly what trips I've made and then go ahead and go back through those, review them and categorize them accordingly, uh, whether they're rideshare driving or maybe I'm meeting with a client. I can just uh, easily select that option and then that uh, mileage rate, I can easily apply the standard deduction to that at year end and get an overall uh, expense categorization for how much I spent on gas, wear and tear, uh, all of that's gonna be included in that standard deduction rate. It's also very easy to track receipts in the QuickBooks self-employed app. And this is a feature that I really like to have because I absolutely hate just holding on to paper copies of receipts. So if I'm ever buying something for the business, then I can easily just photograph a receipt of it, pull it up in the app and categorize uh, how I want to make this, you know, what type of expense it was and how that applies further to my business. It really simplifies things for me and reduces uh, the amount of paper that I have to use and keep track of. Another feature that I put off using for way too long with the QuickBooks self-employed app was the invoicing feature. And in the past, I just created invoices on my own and sent these out to clients, but my clients are very professional. They include law firms, tech recruiting firms, and people that expect a lot out of their independent contractors, especially when I'm billing out at $85 an hour. So with the built-in invoicing feature, you can see that this is an example invoice. It has a few products and services listed. If I scroll down a little bit further, you can see that I can easily uh, accept automatic payments, which makes my life a lot easier. I don't have to wait around for a check. And if I create an example invoice here, you can see that it looks very professional and clean. And it's something that uh, you know is going to impress my clients and keep them around in the long run. Now with all of this accounting work, at some point we're gonna be paying taxes on the money that we owe. And if we're an independent contractor, after year one, we have to go ahead and start paying quarterly estimated taxes. This can be very stressful, but if you've been keeping up to date with all of your income and your expenses, then making that estimate becomes very simple with the QuickBooks self-employed app because they will give you an exact estimate of what you should be paying quarterly and the dates outline that you should pay. So as you can see in the app here, I have exact estimates of what I'm supposed to pay out quarter by quarter through the app. And this takes a lot of stress off of me because I know exactly what those payments need to be and when I have to send them in. The last great part about this app is that it is incredibly easy to do taxes at year end. I can easily 
sync up my QuickBooks self-employed app with Intuit TurboTax, Credit Karma, or if I wanna have an accountant do my taxes for me, I can just add them as a staff profile. Having all of this data on hand makes it incredibly easy to go ahead and do those taxes at year end, which is a huge burden off of my shoulders and significantly less stress at the end of the year. If you have any questions about the app, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll do my best to get around to them. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for tons of more app reviews because I'm gonna be reviewing the coolest apps that help independent contractors and really just anyone trying to do cool stuff from their phone.